Mm. And by the way, you guys, since the last time we were here, I've had a few things change in my life. Some things happened that were so crazy that I couldn't even believe that it's, it was a possibility. First thing that happened was I had my first ever celebrity death hoax, meaning that someone faked my death on the internet and it went viral. Someone wrote an amazing article that was read by over 30 million people that was so good, even I was like, oh my God, I was so nice. <laughs> TMZ reported it for 30 minutes until they called my publicist and confirmed that I was still alive. The article said that I had died October 31st from complications of type 2 diabetes. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, that's a hell of a day to kill a diabetic. You know what I mean? That's like killing Santa on Christmas Eve. 30 million people read this article. No one thought to call me. Except Martin. That's right. Martin was the only one that called me. And I think that was just to verify that he still had employment. I got that phone call. Hello? Martin was like, hey. You dead? No, man, I'm, I'm good. I figured you would have texted me. And I would have, because that's the kind of friend I am, you know? I even asked my son Frankie, I said, Frankie, did you hear I died? That's what they meant. I go, what do you mean that's what they meant? Well, my friends were asking if you were okay. I go, what'd you tell them? I had